assalamu alaikum uh, i am back once again um so this this is another video that we didn't get to cover on the show and uh anything we don't cover on the show um i'll try to uh come back or we, we would try to come back and at least uh shed some light on these uh on these videos that, that come out from the tmoa channel um and really just drive home the point that they they don't really say anything at all um this video here uh Uman Sora just says talks in circles really um and just does circles around the point without ever actually uh hitting hitting the nail on the head she kind of just like hits around it um and never actually addresses what did he do so uh the video is titled what did he do and they're referring to their f former spiritual leader Mark uh who was passed on uh, despite them th thinking that he's still alive and you know guiding him guiding them from the grave but anyway um so we're gonna watch this video and the lord has it shows our beloved mercy Camille rahmatullahi to bring about this revolution or transformation and the lord to our hand okay wait wait hold on hold on so uh First thing first, we're only, we're only, so the first thing she says is that <clears throat> Bargilani, right, was handpicked by law, right? So we know as Muslims, right, we know what it means to be hand, handpicked by God, right? Generally, right, for the, the stories we know, for people who were handpicked by, by a, a law to um, do great things and, you know, lead, lead folks, generally that is reserved for prophets, right? Um, and from for the most part, we know for sure that uh that uh Barjilani was definitely not a prophet, right? He wasn't a nubby at all. Um, so we know this we know this for sure. Um, so that's that's the first thing she says. She just says that hey, listen, uh, Allah chose chose him um for whatever he did. He picked us to have the distinctive honor and pleasure to serve, assist, and carry on. When I mercy the banner. Okay, so Allah chose you all, right, to serve. Uh, keyword serve. Yes, serve. Serve is definitely the keyword. Right? It's important that she mentions serve first. Serve is serve is probably the most uh, important word that she mentions. All right, serve Mark Line. That is what you guys did. Um, serve him. Yes, uh, assist to him by giving him all your money, a good portion of your money, making him filthy rich. So you, you guys did did all that, right? But also. You, uh, as we learned during the um, during the interview with Uncle MJ uh, on the Arthur, on, on the Arthur channel, uh, Uncle MJ talked about how Mubarak uh viewed the people of the Jama'at as slaves, right? And so he he um, viewed you guys as slaves, as these dumb African American slaves, right? So yes, you guys did serve him. Um, now I I only serve a law, uh, so I mean shout out to y'all, but he um. He viewed you as slaves. So, yes, you guys did serve him. That's why he uh, appointed the only white man as the overseer of Red House Land. Um, so, yes, shout out to y'all. You guys definitely served him. Then he unfurled. If they ask you who is Sheikh Jalan, this is Sheikh Jalan. So, what happened? How did this mission of our mercy unfold? What did he do? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, she's she's asking, I would assume, rhetorical questions, um, because when she says, "Who is Jelani? What did he do? Um, and how did his mission unfold?" You just explained that in the first part, according to what I have to assume is him being chosen by a law. Um, that is his mission. His mission was that he's chosen by a law, from what I, I can assess in the four minute in, in the forty four seconds of, of this 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 video so far, um, is that he was chosen by a law, and that the people of the Jamaat were chosen by Allah also to follow him and serve him and uh, assist him. Rather, we should ask, what did he not do? What did he not do? Let's see. Um, <laughs> he did. He did not lead you closer closer to your your Islam, right? Um, he did not get you guys to be self sustained and live off the land. Um, he did not get you guys educated on Islamic matters, qualified as teachers, scholars, shaykhs. Uh, Hafiz, um, every Hafiz of, of, of the TMOA came from elsewhere. Um, 
all the Ashari graduates came from Ashari. They, they didn't go, go to IQ or U in Pakistan. Um, he did not uh, view you as as equals. Um, a plethora of things that he did not view as. Uh, he viewed the women there as, you know, just my my uh, opportunities. I can just take one as as they come to me. So that, that's what he did not do, all right? First thing he did, he brought the elders sitting here today. He brought us out of those cities so polluted, we couldn't even drink the water. We couldn't keep... Okay, hold on, hold on. Where were y'all living? Y'all were living in Flint like 40 years ago? You guys couldn't even drink the water because it's so polluted? What cities were, because again, if, if you just say it out loud, yeah, we were, we were in cities, it was so bad, we couldn't drink the water. Um, You can't drink the water in Pakistan either. I, I can assure you uh, that the water was not that bad. Uh, for the for the most part, um, most American cities have drinkable water. So I, I don't know, uh, where this is coming from, from her, but I guess anything to, to glorify the, the, the sheikh, all right? Holy Quran there, it was not... You couldn't read Holy Quran there. It, this is, this is another thing too. Um, a lot of people in this particular, uh, I guess Sufi Tariqa, you can call it a cult. Anyway, a lot of them had this belief that like, you couldn't pray in the city because the water was, was dirty and therefore you couldn't make proper wudu and you couldn't uh, read the Quran either. Um, which is utter fault because there's infinitely more Muslims who live in, in the inner cities than live in rural areas like the people of uh, Tiamoy. It's not possible that we could continue to live there. Some or many elders actually lived in ghettos. Okay, okay. Um, so we covered this on the show. But once again, uh, just because you guys moved from the ghettos or the, the 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 inner city where you know the crime rates are it doesn't mean that because you move to a rural area that there's not crime in ghettos uh you guys live in trailer park. you guys live on on basically every team like compound is a glorified trailer park that's what it is. it is a glorified trailer park where you guys don't know that you are ghetto white, white trash you guys think that you are classy that's basically what it is you guys listen we're white class white, white trash but we have a shrine or we have a mosque, so we're not white trash. No, no, no. You guys live on trailer parks. This, this is this is the majority of, you know, this is every land. Uh, it's just a trailer park um, with Muslims on it. So that is what he he took you guys from housing to trailer parks and the um. Eh, yeah, well. In cities where every imaginable sin is openly committed. Okay, so uh, once again, uh, <laughs> just because you you go to a rural area does not mean sins just stop. All the worst imaginable sins happen in the rural rural areas too. Like, um, freaking Billy Bob is gonna do coke in the city or 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 in the country. It just doesn't, doesn't matter, right? They're gonna fornicate. They're gonna uh, incest. All, all that happens everywhere. So it's not just like a oh, but because because we live in a city is is bad and countries no um, folks moved to the country and still did sins, still did crimes. So it didn't it doesn't matter where you live at in reality. Um, Especially if, if, if you're Muslim, like uh, this is her just saying things out loud. Shaji led the way, and he brought his flock out of those invisible jails. Invisible to jails. Live on our own land. No, he brought y'all from the East Coast in the ghettos to Compton, California, in Watts. All right. Uh, so the first hijra that took place. When they arrived in California, it wasn't like they arrived on some land that that. Uh, their spiritual leader from Barjolani had provided for them. Um, they, they arrived in Compton. They arrived in Watts, the ghettos. So they literally left the ghettos, right? So he, <laughs> he, Barjolani, took them from the ghetto of the East Coast, right? Which is less ghetto than the ghettos of the West Coast. Because Compton, California, and Watts, California, they're known as the ghettos of America. Before we got to where we are, where we are today, where it's Detroit, and Detroit's like that like peak ghetto, Compton was was it, Watts was it, um. So that's where he took y'all to. Let's not be have original history here and ignore facts where you guys eventually have a land in the Sequoia Mountains and, and call it Blada Law. First, first thing first, you guys were in Compton and Watts. In complete independence, the longest history complete history independence, was made. huh? That that okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna play the video. 
let's just assume that hopefully she clarifies that statement and provides facts to say, yes, this, this was in fact the longest Hedgeway history. Some 4,000 miles from New York to California, and Shaji was there too. Okay, so, um, she just said, <laughs> she just said <laughs> that the longest Hydra in history, um, happened from California, um, to, uh, from ca California to wherever the heck, right? Um, so, uh, hold on, let's see. Let me, let me check something real quick, because I'm not going to, like, you can't just say things without having like proof. Um, and it was kind of a lot like a, a forced Hydra in reality because you got you guys didn't know any better. Like, sure, yeah. Um, and he and those Muhajirin. Muhajirin. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You you can't just be calling people Muhajirin. Um, because <laughs> uh, the Muhajirun um were the first converts uh, in Islam. Um, and they traveled from Mecca to Medina. So y'all going from New York or Philly um, or like DC area to 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 California does not does not like classify y'all as Mahajirun or Mahajirin at all. So just said more fluff. And they moved in a caravan driving all the way. He said, we have very, very little money. We have very little food. We were frying onions and eating that. Okay, so they had probably, right? Probably, I would assume, um, and I know for a fact, a lot of folks had jobs. So they left their jobs where they're employed and make money to go travel all the way to California. So if you have a job, right, and work at, at New York or freaking anywhere on the East Coast, and then say you just, up, you just pack your bags and leave the job, of course, you're not going to have money after you've been traveling for freaking three days on the road uh, in a caravan of cars. Um, your money's going to run out dry because you don't have a job. So they're not employed. And if they're in the ghetto, they probably didn't have a lot of money to begin with. So they're, as, as you just said, they're already in the ghetto. What Mubarak should have done, if he was smart, was said, hey, listen, you guys work here, work long, and then when you when you can afford it, come join me in California. But uh, he's not, not the brightest, the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay, so as someone who cooks a lot, she said fried onions eating them like like it's a, a bad thing. First of all, fried onions are kind of immaculate. If you do it properly, it's a nice crisp. All right. Next time anyone's gonna gonna make a sandwich, bro, fry some onions on it. That sandwich, but put on top, it's it's immaculate. All right. All this why to build an exemplary Islamic community or village, and we stand here. And sit here today. As okay, so, um, all this s s suffering and sacrifice to build this exemplary Islamic community uh, that we stand here today. Wrong, false, right? Because, as you mentioned, they went from the East Coast, New York area, to California, the land in California, right? Um, Baladala, right, up in the Sequoia Mountains. It is no longer there, right? Because this great genius of a man, Rajalani, made y'all go on a goose chase, a goose chase all the way to California by land, and then told you later on, hey, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to leave California because California is gonna sink. So you guys better leave now or else. So where was the, the knowledge that he had to know that, hey, hmm, I probably shouldn't move these people to California if it's gonna sink 20 years later. He didn't know then? Since he has all this knowledge and he's he's taught by you know um, Hazra Ali and he sees the law directly and he goes to paradise um, and he gave a khutbah when they arrived in California and and all the Mahajirin, all the Ansars, all the angels, all the prophets were sitting and listening to him, him speak. So this man who has all that, who is according to a man's sword, chosen by Allah, right? Allah chose him and chose them. So Allah chose, chose chose you, but didn't tell you that, hey, listen, moving these people to California is a bad idea because it's going to fall underwater, which, by the way, um, California is still there, not underwater. So shout out to him. Very smart individual. So that, that's what he did. He, he What he did is waste your time. After 40 plus years, as a result, we have lost 
To see us today is a matter of extreme, extensive, and immense honor for him. He said, I have done my best for the sake of Allah to honor. You have done your best, time. Huh? You have... He has done his best. Your best is an idiot. All right. That's what I have to think about his, his best. All right. That's the best you did. The best you did was fear Allah or fear me. Constant accounts of shirk. Constant accounts of bidda. Halal and marriages. Uh, ordering, ordering killings. Uh, ordering bombings. Like, that's the best that, that, that's the best that you, you, you had to do. Gluttony. Lust. Pride. Arrogance. <laughs> that is the best. That is that that is your best. Your your best, sir. I'm sorry, is an idiot. Like, like this is this is what I've I've uh found in this this poem or whatever um, um Mansour wrote uh about what what did he do? And so far, he has done nothing but lead you astray, uh run amok, and just overall waste your time. This is what he spent forty years wasting your time. Um, and had you go from east coast to west coast back to the east coast, um for whatever reason and again is that something to be proud of are you guys proud of that he had you travel uh on the longest hit of all time really because i for sure will, will be quite annoyed all right um if that's the best that he had to do you must do your best for the sake of allah to Allah, islam and for your own selves so if they ask you who is Sheikh jilani this is Sheikh jilani we didn't ask you who he was. We asked you what did he do. And, and so far in the whole video, you, you haven't said anything that he did um, that was, was actually a good thing. It's actually all negative, right? So this is this is the thing, right? She's she's speaking on him, right? And in some way, in her mind, right, when she, when she wrote this speech poem or whatever, right, and somewhere in her mind, she thought, man, this is about to just show everyone, like how great this man was. In reality, you have done nothing but expose him. Like, all the things that you think are good things or bad things. It's all just, just terrible. His journey is our journey. Mm -hmm. And our journey is his journey. And we are Shejelani. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are Umansor. You are a lady. Mubarakulani is a Pakistani man. You are not Sheikh Jelani. He is not us. I was not him. He was not me. All right. Um, <laughs> your journey is not his journey. All right. Because his journey was come to uh, America, say mumble jumble, lead folks astray, leave America, collect money, live, die. All right. Eat food, have child brides, um, raise dumb stuns. Like that was his journey. Your journey was not his journey. And you're not him. Why would you even want to be him? <laughs> like, Y'all just y'all just be saying things, but, but listen, um, not gonna knock him too much because again he tried his best. But uh, in the immortal words of Brother Bender here, all right, your best is an idiot. All right, that's that's really all. That's really all it comes down to is that she she just she this was this was three minutes of just nothing. And they they put this video out proudly. They put this video out probably knowing that he, that she just didn't say a, a darn thing in support of Marjolani. That's actually good. Oh yeah, Allah. Assalamualaikum.